Hello everyone, welcome to video 6 of chapter 5. In this video, we study chapter 5.3. We discuss the change in the objective function and its effect in the um, optimal solution. So remember, the coefficient for the objective function is the vector c. Okay, so let's get started. We consider the following simplex algorithm to solve a linear programming problem. Here on the left, this is the initial tableau we denote it by coefficient matrix A, and then B here, C here, and Z naught. And after a sequence of pivot steps, we reach the final tableau where we put a star on all the coefficient to denote that they are different. And then assume that for the final tableau, x start is the optimal basic feasible function. We are interested in the following question. If for the objective function coefficient vector c here, if one of the entries like ci is changed, how does the final optimal value z naught zero no okay z naught star how does that change okay let's try to answer this um in this abstract setting and uh, from what we have discussed in the previous chapter we know that c star the final value of this c here can be expressed by this expression that is this c minus c b remember how to form that vector we discussed about that and the a star here okay and if this is the final tableau then uh, this vector here this coefficient here shall be non-negative and also um the z naught star is expressed as z naught the initial one here minus c b the same um, vector here times the b star this one on the right hand side okay this we established in the previous study okay we make one comment um, for the objective value only the change in c b will affect this value if you make change in the other coefficient of c and you see that it doesn't occur in this expression but however um here if you change the other um elements in c you see the c star will be changed and then we need to be careful that we need to have c star bigger than zero that inequality to be preserved Okay, let's put the discussion into an example and see how these can be worked out. Let's consider this problem. I want to maximize this function here. And I uh, have two constraints. So x1, x2, x3, x4 are my variables. So this is a max problem. We probably already know um, how to do it in using simplex method and solve it in the LP assistant. Let's just quickly go through that. So first I convert the max problem into a standard problem. I add two slack variables x5 and x6 and then I form the constraint like that and that's in canonical form with x5, x6 as the basic variable. And then I need to change this into a minimization problem by multiply by negative one. Therefore, all of these carries a negative sign. Okay, so that's the initial tableau. And then um, you carry out the simplex algorithm by finding the point to pivot. So let's say here I found that's where I pivot for this negative coefficient. Then I get the second part of the tableau here. And then so this is negative and then I find out I can pivot here and which gives me this final form of the tableau. So this is the final tableau, 
And that's the initial tableau. Two steps of pivot. Okay, so here's the question. What if now we change the coefficient? We change the C1 equal to negative 11. Okay, let's have some discussions based on the, what we have observed earlier. So we first observe that the corresponding variable x1 is not a basic variable in the final tableau, which we had on the previous slide. So um, the change in this C1 will not affect the Z0 star if uh, everything's okay. okay? So, but the second part, we know that the change in this C1 will cause a change in the C1 star. And we have a constraint on the C1 star. So let's first calculate. So what is C1 star? C1 star, we have a formula. It will be C1 minus CB times A star, the first column of it. Okay. Let's verify. So we can compute. We know that C1 star in the tableau is 3 and C1 is negative 11. And then I need to show that this equality is true. So let's see that. So 3 equal to negative 11 minus, and then you form the CB vector, which is taking negative 15 and negative 4 here, and then multiply by first column of A star, which is negative 2, 11. So now this is just a computation. So 2 times 15 is 30, 11 times 4 is 44, and then you get um, negative 14 here, and then negative 11 plus 14 is 3, which is equal to the left-hand side. So this is verified. So we know how the C1 star is computed, and it is affected by the C1. Okay, so to keep the final tableau still optimal, we must require the coefficient C1 star to be non-negative. So what does it mean in here? So we want this to be non-negative. That is, we have the constraint that C1 shall be bigger than C, B, A star first column. And so this quantity we computed here, so it's negative 14. So basically we need C1 to be bigger than negative 14 to ensure that C1 star is positive. Okay, so we now can conclude. If the coefficient in front of that x variable in the original problem is less than 14, so the original problem is a maximization problem and the coefficient is taking a negative sign of it, okay? So if that is less than negative 14, then uh, our optimal solution is unchanged. Now, however, if the change is more than three units, let's say the new C1 star now will be negative, then it's no longer optimal and we will have to perform more or new computation of simplex algorithm on that tableau. Okay, so um, if you are um, considering a different CI where XI is not a basic variable, and then the si very similar argument would apply. Yeah, okay, so that's all for this um, little video. I will discuss more details in the next one. See you then.